everybody. Welcome aboard the channel. If you're new, welcome back if you've been here. I'm Don, kind of a friendly community we've got here. The nature of the genre kind of dictates that too. It's traditional country for the most part. There's bluegrass, there's western, but it's a thoughtful group, put it that way. Let's see. Roger Smith made a gift to the channel for me to react to George's song, Famous Last Words of a Fool. Ooh, but Roger, thank you for the gift and this request, my friend. It's just, I mean, George Strait, what else do you say? I did a, I took a poll a few months ago on the channel that was, when you hear the term King George, who do you think of, George Jones or George Strait? And I think it was like 50% said George Strait, 37% George Jones, and the other 13% was both. So anyway, they both carry a uh, big stick, but George Strait, 61 number ones, are you kidding me? All right, let's see what he's got here. I don't know the song. I hope it is in, in some way reflective of my own life with that title, but who knows. I told her I wouldn't miss her at all as she walked to the door I couldn't care less if she didn't care anymore and with tears in my eyes I lied I was glad we She could take it back as she drove away, crying at the famous last words of a fool. You might have been able to get her back. An apology. Famous last words of a Gotta own up to that, man. The first night without her would be easy. I kept telling myself. All the while dying at the thought of her lying somewhere else. Yeah. There'll be nothing to it I'll easily find someone new As my breaking heart echo The famous last words of a fool What a voice! last words of a fool famous last words of a fool I like that repetition you won't break my heart and I don't love you famous last words of a fool you won't Last words of a fool. Oh, he's feeling that. When you get to the point where you don't even have hardcore emotion, and I know this is a song, but I'm saying in life when you've gone through this, there's that silent maybe not so silent but a resignation where you just resign yourself to it's over 
And whether you're, whether she decided to leave him and he blurted out those words or it was mutual or it was just an argument and he ratcheted it up by going over the top and saying that, I, it, it doesn't matter. It's just at some point you just resign yourself to it's over and you just talk about it almost in a monotone. And that's how, almost how it was sung, relatively speaking. I mean, it wasn't monotone, but it was sort of flatter because it was meant to communicate the sadness. And even the re repeat of the line, the famous last words of a fool, the famous last words of a fool, that's what's echoing in his mind. That's what's echo That's what he's living. And so that explains the repetition. I thought he might even say it a third time. I wasn't sure, but two is enough in a song like this because it communicates what it was meant to. So Roger, yeah, I mean, good, fine. This is one of those songs that like as a younger man, I never would have listened to because I like the up-tempo stuff. The, the best I would, the, the softest I would do would be like a ballad by Skinner or the Allman Brothers, you know? But this kind of song, when you get older and you've lived part of it, you've said things you really regret. And the older I get, the more it seems to hurt me when I remember something and there weren't that many things that i said in life that i regret but you know there's one girl in sixth grade i said something mean to i don't even know if she remembers it but i remember and it still hurts me to this day to think that i ever said that uh, that's the nature of life you know if you have a conscience you grow those moments of pain stop you in the future or limit you in the future from repeating it because you don't want to be in that pain the memory of mistakes lasts longer than the mistakes itself. The mistake takes a second, five seconds. The memory can go on for 60 years. So I'm gonna rate that song, and the number that immediately popped into my head was a 9.1. That was way more artistic than meets the ear. That was very well crafted to communicate exactly that moment when you realize you're the one at fault and the consequences are so serious she's not coming back so all right roger thank you for that my friend now i'm in a reflective mode <laughs> and mood all right have a great day i'll see you on another video keep rocking the country <music>